and your total comes to 4,399. Paper or plastic? Are you the kind of person that likes to know all the ins and outs of a new product? Maybe you like to live vicariously as someone who opens the box of a pair of new headphones. Or perhaps you just want to get the scoop on if headphone A is better than headphone B. Well, you're in the right place. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our reviews, unboxing videos, and much more right here at Moon Audio. The Element series from Matrix Audio has become a staple here in the office and it's a popular product line for many audiophiles alike. They pretty much bring top-of-the-line streaming features in a well-constructed package at a reasonably affordable price. I say reasonable because the entire line comes in varying options of features and functionality, so you don't necessarily have to go for the flagship Element X if you just want a basic streaming machine. It's a growing market too, because as high resolution audio becomes more available and various streaming services become more integrated into products like this, the demand for something more than your iPhone or Android becomes that much more important. It's surprising that it's already been three years since the original line first came out. The Element X, Element M, Element P, and the Element I. It was back in the spring of 2019 that our founder and CEO Drew Baird flew to Singapore Can Jam, and first saw the new Element series from Matrix Audio. He was so impressed with the innovations in music streaming and the sound quality that he just had to bring them back to Moon Audio. And as they say, the rest is history. So what's different on the new Element X2? Let's take a look first at the design and I.O. The original Element X was like the DeLorean of music players. Silver, sleek, and minimalist, the design of the chassis is both beautiful and functional to eliminate noise from the outside and to minimize internal vibrations. It's a good design that doesn't really need to be changed from a functional standpoint, and Matrix Audio did just that. The most noteworthy change is the new 3.46-inch LCD touchscreen. Yes, a full-color touchscreen. It took me forever to realize it was actually a touchscreen. It's a great looking display and is able to provide lots more information to the user than your previous text-based info on the first generation. When looking at the front of the music player, the dark box isn't the entire screen. To the left of the screen, you'll find two headphone jacks, a quarter inch unbalanced and a 4.4 Pentacon balanced port. Matrix Audio continues the balanced and unbalanced options, but has discontinued the triple XLR ports that existed on the last Element X, opting for a sleeker look this go around. To the right of the LCD screen are four touch buttons, play pause, playlist, track back, and track forward. Where is the menu? Swipe left on the screen. Yeah, I hope that just saved you a lot more time than I spent trying to figure that one out. There you can adjust the settings for inputs, outputs, filters, and more settings. I really do appreciate the minimalist design. It looks amazing. I just wish they had some better instructions on how to access all the features they've hidden away. Once you know where they are though, it's a non-issue. The rest of the controls on the front of the Element X2 is the power button on the far left side and the power indicator LED beside that. On the right side, you'll find the large volume knob which doubles as the mute switch when pressed in. The back I.O. is improved as well, offering a few more ports and design enhancements from the previous generation music streamer. Stereo RCA and XLR analog outputs, Stereo RCA aux in, dual coaxial and optical ports, I squared S port, a new ARC HDMI port, and a USB audio input. Next, Matrix Audio has included a USB-C port for external storage connections providing power up to five volts output for things like external hard drives. Network connection has also been upgraded to be able to accommodate one gigabit internet speeds. Trigger in and out ports are added and the power plug connection remains in the same location. The external antennas are also redesigned as an integrated single antenna arranged horizontally to take up less space and create a cleaner look to the box overall. This is the best looking all-in-one that Matrix has put out to date. 
So the Element X2 uses the same flagship level DAC, the ES9038 Pro, and the same clock, the CCHD950, as the original Element X music streamer. That shouldn't really be a bother to most users, as the Element X was and is one of the best sounding all-in-one boxes on the market. There's no need to mess with the sound, in my opinion, and using some of the same components as the previous generation product isn't a downgrade like some might be led to believe. Tuning and optimizing established hardware as opposed to new hardware can sometimes yield better results than new chips. This certainly is the case with the Element X2. The independent power supplies are also shielded for complete electrical isolation. All these factors and more play a role in the overall sound quality of the Element X2, but probably the biggest improvement is the power output. The Element X2 has a built-in preamp with 10 dB analog gain. When using the preamp, the device can output signals up to 15.8 VRMS. Despite this output, noise and distortion levels are super low, resulting in some great measurements for dynamic listening sessions. That's the big takeaway for me when it comes to the sound. More gain means more headroom, which allows you to not only drive more powerful headphones, but to power them more efficiently without sacrificing sound quality or adding more noise into the signal. From my testing setup, I paired the Matrix Audio Element X2 Music Streamer with the Meze Audio Lyric headphones and a Silver Dragon cable. Other headphones I compared with are the Odyssey LCD5 and the Hi-Fi Man Ananda headphones with black and silver dragon variants for each. Like its predecessor, the Element X2 is a great sounding music streamer. The sound signature is on the forward side, completely unveiling every detail and nuance of your music. The noise floor is incredibly quiet, lending to more dynamic listening sessions. Low-end presence is good, but if you're a fan of genres like R&B, EDM, heavy metal, then you'll probably want to pair the Element X2 with a warmer headphone. It's not that the player can't put out bass, but there are just better pairings for certain kinds of music. It's great for classical, rock, folk, jazz, alternative pop, and more. So Matrix Audio went all in on music streaming with the Element X2. Tidal Connect, CoBuzz, Spotify Connect, Internet Radio, Podcast, VTuner, External Library Access via Network or USB, Rune Ready, DLNA, AirPlay 2, and more. Any source, any connection. Let's talk about the MA Remote app. MA Remote is the companion app for the Element X2. Previous Element X owners will be familiar with it since it worked in very much the same way. Going into the app, you can access your network music, streaming apps, settings for the device, remote settings, and more. It's a robust piece of software that will make your listening experience that much more convenient. So here we are in the MA Remote app. You can see the what's playing. We can drop that down and see under my devices, which devices are connected. Here we have the Element X2. You can go to configure to see additional information like device information, user manual, configurations for the device, and whatnot. Also, here's the main screen. So you can have albums, tracks, artists, whatever for your um, network library. You can also go down here to streaming. And you have the options for Tidal, CoBuzz, now here we're logged into CoBuzz. You have your internet radio options next, podcast, whatever. And then you have specific favorites based off of what platform you're, or service you're listening to. And then at the top right of the app, you click that and that acts as your remote for the Element X2. So you have a lot of additional uh, features that you can find on the remote control as well, uh, as well as setting IO, volume, filters, etc. Another thing worth mentioning is the amazingly improved remote control. The previous remote for the original Element X was nothing to write home about, but Matrix Audio has really improved the remote experience with more controls this go around. Here up top, you'll see we have our buttons for inputs. We have a big volume toggle here. Uh, we have a designated mute button, button for filters, this button up here will actually turn your display off, which is nice. And then your track skip buttons here. 
So let's talk about the remote real quick. So the remote that comes with the X2 doesn't come paired already to the device. You're gonna have to do it manually. And there's nothing really that tells you how to do that in the instructions other than on the app itself. So real quick, we're gonna walk you through how to pair the remote to your Element X2. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll swipe to get into the menu, go to settings. Here you'll see remote control. And this will tell you what to do, point at the device and press these buttons together. The power and the filter button, okay? And hold it for five seconds. You'll hear a beep and then you will see that now the remote is connected. So when it comes to comparisons, there's the questions of what's the difference between the Element M2 and the i2? And the other question of, well, how does it compare to the original Element X? So the first question, the new Element boxes are the X2, M2, and i2. They did not update the Element P for some reason, but that was always the odd duck of the bunch, being that it was only for speakers and not headphones. With the Element series in general, last gen and the current generation, the main differences are hardware, I.O., sound, and price point. When it comes to streaming functionality, all the boxes are pretty consistent and will work in very much the same way. The X2 is the flagship, so it's gonna have the best hardware, the best sound, and it'll be the most expensive. Going down on the tiered list, next we have the M2. Smaller in size, the biggest difference is the I.O. on the back of the unit. Matrix Audio takes away the RCA aux in ports and gives you only one set of coaxial and optical ports. Everything else is the same. When it comes to internals, they downgrade the flagship DAC 9038 Pro to the 9028 Pro and we'll have some different measurements that correspond with these changes. Further down the line, the i2 is the baby of the group, but still retains the great streaming functionality of the flagship X2. The IO is streamlined even more, removing the HDMI ARC port and the trigger ports. The i2 uses an ES9038Q2M chip, which is still a top performing DAC, but it's optimized to run more efficiently at lower power ratings. Measurements in the new second generation element streamers are great across the board. It really comes down to your budget and ergonomic scenario to figure out which one is right for you. So let's take a look here at the three element units together. On the top, we have the I2, then the M2, and then on the bottom, the X2. So here you can see on the back, the IO is pretty similar for the most part. We have the analog out being consistent uh, with the XLR and the RCA. Uh, here you can see that the X only has the auxiliary in right here. The other two do not. The other two also have only one set of coaxial uh, and optical uh, digital ends. The X2 has two sets of coaxial and optical. The I2 removes the ARC HDMI port. The M2 and X2 has that. And then the only other difference is that the I2 takes out the trigger ports. Other than that, everything's pretty consistent. So the next question, how does it compare to the original Element X? It is better, much improved. The streaming functionality is increased, the added touchscreen, improved power and measurements across the board, and better I.O. The difficult thing is to determine if it's worth upgrading for existing Element X users. It's tough. I don't think the sound improvements alone are enough to justify an upgrade. The thing that sells me, however, is the I.O. and the added streaming options. The touchscreen is nice for the cleaner aesthetic, but you're not missing anything per se from the older settings and filter options. If you're still set on having an XLR headphone jack, then you're just playing out of luck on this one. The HDMI ARC is a nice added feature for those wanting to incorporate their player into their home entertainment system. And overall, it just feels like a more refined experience with a bigger bag of features and functions. The hardest pill to swallow, however, for those wanting to upgrade their existing Element X is the price. It's almost a thousand bucks more than the original MSRP of the X1. 
and that fact alone makes it tough, you got the money, go for it. Otherwise, my recommendation is to focus more on the M2 or i2. There you'll find all the upgrade and functionality, but you'll still have the amazing sound of the Element X without breaking the bank. Bottom line, the Element X2 makes some great improvements over the previous generation. Yes, it's a bit more expensive too, but I feel as though the additions bring the player up to date with some of the more modern competition, and thus justifying the price in my opinion. The touchscreen is a beautiful new addition, and I'm a big fan of the minimalist aesthetic. It's a striking piece of gear. The added power is going to be the real game changer in regards to the sound of the music player, and Matrix Audio keeps the sound signature consistently stunning with detail-rich and forward-sounding ES9038 Pro DAC. Needless to say, it's about time for an update, and Matrix Audio knocked this one out of the park. We'll include a link to the full review of the new Matrix Audio Element X2 below. There you'll find lots more information on features, sound impressions, comparison to the older Element X, and much more. If you have any questions about the product or music streaming in general, feel free to leave a comment, and as always, Thanks for watching.